Hey there folks, Rel here. This is your weekly update for Sunday, February 16th, 2014. The first thing I'd like to address is the giveaway that we had last week. The answer was, in fact, the AS-16 Nighthawk shotgun for the Terran Republic. And the first subscriber to answer it correctly was a user by the name of 99Butterfield, so big congratulations to him on taking home that $15 worth of station cash. And another thank you to Error Proned, who is the person who donated the card so that it could be given away in the first place. The next bit of news i like to mention is also about a giveaway, but it's not one that I'm hosting. A handful of people have messaged me about this, uh, about helping them out with a giveaway that Linus Tech Tips is doing. And unfortunately, I cannot help everyone, but I can help the first person who sent me a message, which was a subscriber by the name of Russell Johnson. If you are interested in checking out the giveaway, there is a few really high value items going like a Crate Gaming all-in-one PC, uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan, as well as a Sony VAIO 13-inch Ultrabook. So anyone can enter to win the gaming PC, but the other two items actually require you to get someone with at least 10,000 subscribers or followers to mention the link and your name. And since I'm already helping out Russell Johnson, I cannot do this for anyone else. But if you're interested in perhaps winning something pretty cool, then go check out the giveaway, and all of the links are in the description below. The next thing I'd like to do is offer a big thank you to the Angels of Death outfit who play Terran Republic on Matherson. They invited me to their Thunderdome event on Saturday, which was uh, three factions squaring off against one another, and it was fun times all around. I don't usually get to do community events due to time constraints, so this was my first big one, I guess. Uh, so thanks again for inviting me to partake in it. Outside of that, we released two videos this week, and this seems to be the case lately, just two videos and then a weekly update. I actually don't like doing that. I want to put out about three videos a week on top of the weekly update. But it is a bit difficult to do that, given the time that I have to work at the moment. That said, I'm going to try to figure out some ways to streamline my processes, both uh, in life and in game, and then see what I can come up with. And two videos a week isn't bad, really, you know, considering that uh, the Eridani vs. Sirius review takes like a solid eight hours worth of work to complete, and that doesn't include the time spent learning the weapons or the time spent looking for good fights to gather footage. But speaking of which, Saturday we did release the Eridani vs. Sirius review and comparison, and uh, that finished up my reviews for every SMG in the game, except for the MKV that just came out. And yes, I'm going to be reviewing the MKV, it's on my priority list, along with the Hunter Crossbow, the new roll of EMP grenades, and other fun infiltrator stuff. Before that, on Friday night, we put out a Thoughts on Better Gaming episode called Lacking Perspective, which just talks about, you know, a lack of perspective that we as gamers and individuals tend to inherit based on our experiences. There was some controversy there since I make an example out of some of the uh, the elitist mentalities, but no one in particular should be taking offense to any of that. It's not what I intended to do, but it happened. <laughs> it definitely happened. And I, I really wasn't thinking about a particular person when I was putting it together, but uh, it is definitely based on past experiences from uh, watching Reddit and the forums and just uh, kind of having to deal with that and take it all in. But if you felt singled out, or wronged in any way, then I guess that's just your perception. Something I don't talk about a whole lot is the casual channel, and I've been meaning to do it for the past couple of weekly updates, but I just keep forgetting. For those who don't know, I have a Let's Play channel at youtube.com slash casualrel, which we're playing the, uh, we're currently playing through the Mass Effect trilogy, Metal Gear Rising, The Wolf Among Us, which uh, I need to get back to now because Season 2 is out, as well as some gameplay footage from Planetside 2. So, fun little plays, streaks, even pure gameplay, that's all where it goes. Uh, Warpath Realm is basically where all of my really dedicated stuff goes. So, reviews, guides, thoughts, etc, etc. Whereas Casual Realm is just that. It's more laid back, admittedly less work to edit, and time to produce, and we just get to play. So, if you're interested in seeing a very different side of me, then go check out the channel there. Also, uh, Titanfall recently went into beta, as I'm sure many of you are aware. Outside of Planetside 2, Titanfall is the game that I've been most excited about, to the point where I want to uh, do legitimate reviews and guides and tips and tricks and such. The same thing I do for Planetside 2. And this is a ways off still, as the game comes out in March, and the game seems to stutter a lot for me right now, as you can probably tell from the footage. But either way, you should be seeing some gameplay from Titanfall pop up, every now and again as we continue on with the channel. It'll likely show up in the Thoughts on Better Gaming episodes, 
as well as some uh, some home matches being uploaded to the casual channel. Once I feel like uh, I've got a solid grasp on some of the mechanics and the concepts and the game is actually out in the world instead of being just in beta, then that's when we're going to start producing some legitimate Titanfall content in there. But do let me know your thoughts on that concept. Uh, plenty of people in the past have been telling me to add new games to the channel and diversify my content. And I've always said that doing so is not an easy process. I don't want to alienate the majority of my fan base. You are all, most of you at least, are from Planetside 2. I don't know what else you enjoy playing. And that's why I tend to stay away from games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, and, uh, you know, for anything other than my thoughts on better gaming series. It's also the same reason that I created the casual channel in the first place. So no matter how you look at it, Planetside 2 is what I'm all about and will continue to be about for the foreseeable future. But throwing Titanfall into the mix is something that I've been waiting for for a long, long time that I've been really excited about since it was first announced. So that's the way that I'm leaning. The last thing that I would like to briefly touch on is the Patreon rewards. There's finally a $15 tier basically just gives you the possibility of getting your name in the patron spotlight listed at the end of the video. And it's nothing worth going out of your way for, as the patron will be chosen randomly, and there will be a new one in every single video. But I really wanted to reward those people who are already donating the $15 or the $20 or whatever as another way of saying thank you. But that's it. Do let me know what's going on in that head of yours. Give me your thoughts on Titanfall if you have the chance to play it, and give me your thoughts on the Infiltrator update if you haven't. I'm trying to put together a priority list for things that I really want to uh, review and discuss, so if there's something in particular that you'd like to see reviewed, shout that out in the comment section down below. Thanks very much folks, Real signing off. We've got the upper hand for now, but it's a close fight. Don't let your guard down. Tech 6 to all ground units. The militia have been defeated. Excellent work. Be advised, the militia forces have been defeated. But enemy survivors remain in your area. Do not allow them to escape.
There are still militia forces in your sector. Terminate with extreme prejudice.